a pal. Yo, what is up there guys? Ed the Wiz back at it again for another video and this time we're going to be talking about the PS4 Kingdom Hearts Edition. Going over the details, everything you need to know right here, right now. So come on pal, let's go. Alright, so first off, let's read off the official statement that we have over here. The official Japanese PlayStation Twitter announced that a limited edition Kingdom Hearts themed PlayStation 4 will be released in honor of the Kingdom Hearts series 15th anniversary. This special PlayStation 4 will be released in a bundle including a PS4 top cover, an original theme, and it will be engraved with an original design. This PS4 will be released on December 12, 2016. Kingdom Hearts series director Tetsuya Nomura made this deal as a Sony exclusive. And a, a also, Kingdom Hearts, uh, the top cover will be sold separately for a limited time until December 22, 2016. So, boom, a brand new PlayStation 4 based off of Kingdom Hearts. I always knew that they were going to do something something like this. I was kind of hoping they would hold off for Kingdom Hearts 3, but it is Kingdom Hearts 15th anniversary next year, so it makes sense to have something like this. So, as you clearly heard from the video, uh, yeah, it's a Japanese exclusive, Japan exclusive, which means if you want to get this, you're going to have to go ahead and import it. You know, it's going to cost some money here and there, but it is pretty darn cool. One thing, though, that I have to say that I dislike about this is that as you can clearly tell from the model, it's a PS4 Slim. It's not a PS4 Pro, which is very unfortunate. I feel as though they kind of took a step back with that, because I know a lot of people are thinking about getting the PS4 Pro, because, you know, the 4K resolution, upgraded graphics, playing Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and that, would be ridiculously awesome. I'm still on the fence of getting a PS4 Pro, but now we have this, and it's a PS4 Slim, so you know you know what I'm saying? I feel like, ah, they should have went for the Pro, but nonetheless, this is a nice way for anybody that doesn't have a PS4 uh, at all. So there you go ahead. Now you're probably thinking, oh, wait a minute, I just bought a PS4 Slim. Well, there there you go. You can go ahead and pre-order the top cover, um, that you can clearly see in this image right over here. And I really like the design. It's got, um, the heart, the crown, all these little designs from Kingdom Hearts that we've all known and loved, which looks pretty awesome. So if you already have a PS4 Slim, you can just go ahead and order the top cover that you can put on. No, you cannot like, if you're thinking, like, oh, well, wait a minute, maybe I can buy the top cover and put it on the PS4 Pro, sorry, it's not gonna work that way, this thing only works on the PS4 Slim, again, very unfortunate, but again, if you do import it, you get the cover, um, you get the PS4, and you get this theme that's inside, as you can clearly see from the image below, it is very similar to that of the outside cover for the Kingdom Hearts, uh, PS4 Slim cover, but also, so this is, you have two ways of going about this, basically, you can go ahead and import it and get all this great stuff, stuff or if you already have a PS4 Slim, you can go ahead and order the top cover. And if you pre-order the game digitally, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, if you pre-order that digitally, you get the custom theme that you see right over here. So it's a matter of choice, a matter of preference. Man, this thing looks really cool and I'm really tempted to get this. I already have a PS4, so I feel as though buying a PS4 Slim is kind of a step back. I think I might just pass on this and just go for the PS4 Pro. You know, maybe they'll make another bundle like this for Kingdom Hearts 3. That's what I'm waiting for. I know darn well they're going to do another one like this, probably for Kingdom Hearts 3. But guys, that's it for this video. That's what I want to talk about, give you all the information. So guys, what I want to know in the comment section below is what do you think of this exclusive Kingdom Hearts Steam PlayStation 4? Do you think it's something that you would get? You're going to go ahead and import it. Leave all your comments in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as that really helps me out. And until next time, guys, I'm going to say bye, pal. I'll see you real soon. <laughs>